Hey everyone, this is Dr. Walker, and this is video 247. It's called Magnetic Field. So, first of all, what produces a magnetic field? It's going to be a magnet, or as I have written, a properly magnetized material. So, anything that's magnetic or has been magnetized. What you can see in this first picture here is a magnet, and you can see the magnific magnetic field visualization using these iron filings, they line up in the direction of the magnetic field. Another thing that can create a magnetic field is a moving charge. What this picture on the right shows, it shows a few loops here, and those loops have a current going through them. This is actually called a solenoid, we'll cover that later. And it shows that if you have a current in a loop, or just a current in general, which is a moving charge, that also creates a magnetic field. So basically the source of all magnetic fields is moving charges because the magnetic materials right, within the atoms themselves, there are moving charges as well. The magnetic field, we use the letter B and it is a vector, it does have a direction. The unit for the magnetic field is a Tesla. We use the letter T for the unit. So what I have shown in the top picture here is once again a magnet and little compass needles. The red one, the red needle is north, the north. So the magnetic field lines point in the direction a north pole of a compass needle points. So again, the red is the north. So you see the red points to the left up here. And then over here, the red points to the right the red points towards the South Pole, here the red points away from the North Pole. So this, I like the visualization on top because it shows the compass needle aligning with the magnetic field and the North being attracted to the South Pole. So we usually would visualize the magnetic field like in the picture in the bottom where we have magnetic field lines that originate from the North Pole and because the compass points in the direction of these red arrows here, the magnetic field lines originate from the North and they always point toward the South. That's because the North Pole of a needle, a, a compass needle, will point towards a South Pole. Remember, unlike poles attract each other. So, to make a long story short, magnetic field lines point from North Pole to South Pole. Because magnetic field is a direction, and sometimes we will be working in three dimensions, sometimes the magnetic field is not just going to be going up or down or left or right. Sorry if the camera flipped my fingers around. But sometimes the magnetic field might be going into the page or out of the page towards you. So if it's going into the page, we use an X. If the magnetic field is going out of the page, we use a dot. And the way that I remember this is I think of an arrow, like, you know, you're shooting an arrow, bow and arrow kind of thing. And so let's do a better tip for that arrow. So again, I, I didn't do a really good tip, but so if the tip of the arrow is coming towards you, so out of the page, then you see a dot. But maybe the arrow has these little things in the back, right? And so if the arrow is going into the page, then you just see the cross from the back. So just a way to perhaps remember it. Let's take a look at this question dealing with magnetic field direction. It says a compass is placed at the black dot. In which direction will the compass point? So I have colored in the North Pole of each compass needle in blue here. So North Pole is blue. So pause the video, think about it. Now let's remember that the magnetic field lines point in the direction that the North Pole of a compass needle points. Which way do the magnetic field lines point? They point from the North Pole to the South Pole. North Pole is over here, so the magnetic field lines point from the North Pole to the South Pole. So at the location of the black dot, the, the compass needle is pointing to the left. 
So that means that the north pole of that compass needle is going to be pointing to the left. Remember that the north pole of your compass is attracted to the south pole. So it makes sense that it points this way. So the answer was A. We have one more slide in this section and it's dealing with the Earth's magnetic field. So the Earth produces a magnetic field and no, there is not a bar magnet within the Earth's interior, but the magnetic field produced by the Earth is as though there were a, a bar magnet because the shape of the magnetic field produced by the Earth resembles the shape of the magnetic field of a bar magnet. So it turns out that the south pole of the Earth's mag magnet or the south pole of the Earth's magnetic field is located near the north geographic pole of the Earth. So the north pole is over here, right? We learned that geography class. North pole is up here. That is called a North Geographic Pole. For, this, for the Magnetic Pole, the South Pole is actually on top. Think about it. Does this make sense? When you have your compass needle, right, and you have the North here is the, bl the blue one. Doesn't the North of your compass needle point toward the North Geographic Pole, right? You want to go North? You want to look where the North arrow points. Well, isn't the north pole of your compass attracted to the south pole of another magnet? So it makes sense that the south magnetic pole is also north. Now, they don't line up perfectly. There is a little, a little angle. But I just thought that was a really interesting fact. And another little fact is that the strength of the Earth's magnetic field, the strength is not that much is approximately 5 times 10 to the negative 5 Teslas at the Earth's surface. So I just like to provide values when possible so that you know that if you have magnetic fields in Teslas, then those are going to be really, really, really strong fields. That's it for this video. I will see you next time.